That's not what that's for. My hand. Painting. Yeah, you, you need to wipe your, your hands. hands. Yes. Painting. Oh, don't put it in your hair. Nope. We wanted to go to northern Colorado to start with, to be honest, at higher elevations, but we just could not find anywhere to stay. So we thought, well, we'll start at the southern part and then something will open up. But nothing is opening up. We really want to be in state parks. These are the ones we want to get into. We've got, see, Cheyenne Mountain, Mueller, Chatfield, and Cherry Creek. So every morning for the last two weeks, I've gotten up, I've done a search for just, I just want a Sunday through Thursday. We're just looking for days during the week to open up. But we've finally given in and we've just stayed at a private park because I'm serious. Like even the private parks, there's like nothing within 30 minutes of Colorado Springs. And this is what's kind of frustrating too. You can see our length over here, 39 feet. If I change that to, let's say 30. If I reload it, I mean, not that everything opens up, but at least Chatfield's open. And I've seen Cherry Creek open before when I did that. We're glad we're under 40 feet at least. Our fifth wheel is 43 almost. So at least we're under 40, but you know, you get down to 30 and there's so much more you can get into. <laughs> so it gets frustrating sometimes. Hands like trying to film over here. It's so funny how you change over time. When I was uh, a teenager, we came out west with my family every year for three or four years in a row, driving uh, in our full-size van. Me and my brother and my sister, we just sit in the back playing video games the whole time. It drove my parents crazy. They're like, look how beautiful this is. It's like, yeah, whatever, mom and dad. So, and now I'm like the opposite. I'm like just wanting to look out and just admire everything that's out there. We're heading to Cheyenne Mountain Zoo in Colorado Springs. So something pretty special about this zoo is it's located on a mountain. So it's got some um, pretty awesome views and reviews of this zoo, so. It's almost like we're here for the views and the <laughs> animals are just a bonus. So. But, <laughs> I think Hensley's here for the animals though. She loves the zoo. You ready to go to the zoo? Lucky zoo. <laughs> Elephants. Elephants. Yeah. Oh, you got one? Is he hungry? Is he you ready? Want to oh, he's hungry, Hensley. <laughs> Oh, hey, buddy. <laughs> hey. Here, hey. Don't look, don't look at the camera. Stop. <laughs> Here, take the lettuce. <laughs> These things are not shy. <laughs> you hold it. <laughs> you want to pet it? You want to pet it, Lindsay? We go to a lot of zoos, but each zoo has its own sort of personality. I think with uh, what we've noticed so far with this one is, first of all, the views are just awesome. And then uh, the animals have been up close and personal. <laughs> I mean, the llama's less than 10 feet away from us, and then the giraffes, obviously, were just all over us. Definitely get your exercise here. It's uphill all over the place. We definitely try to check and see if where we're going allows us to bring food in because eating out really adds up. We just heard thunder. There's no way it's gonna rain though, we're good. 
Don't say that. I got water. Yeah, he's in the water. I'm taking a bath. He is taking a bath. Is their nose is called a beep. Hey, Wallaby. Good job. Rhino Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> Your elephant was dying. You gotta move the ears too. What's the elephant say? <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Where's your trunk? Elephant. We're at Red Rock Canyon. It's free. It's an awesome hiking, biking location. Got some awesome um, red rock formations and you can get some pretty cool views of Garden of the Gods and Pikes Peak from here. This is one of the things that makes Colorado so special. I mean, if you love the outdoors and you don't want to spend a lot of money, I mean, there's so much to do in the area. I mean, a lot of it is touristy, it does cost money, but there's still things like this that just, you know, aren't that expensive, but they're just beautiful to see. Might be Garden of the Gods back there. They're not. These trails have been very well laid out. A lot of places we go, they just you have no clue where you're going, and they got quite a few signs. A lot of different routes you can go. Everything we've taken so far has been beautiful, um, and you could probably go anywhere from half a mile to ten miles if you want to just zigzag around everything. Really beautiful out here. There's our car all the way over there. <laughs> Give me some sleep. Arr. It's been so hot. <laughs> if you're at Red Rock Canyon, we googled the first thing that was close that had something cold. And this was it. <laughs> it's not much better than Sonic on a hot day. During happy hour. <laughs> I don't know. They keep putting this on hold. It, I think it's just turned 4 o'clock. Sorry guys, let me just a few more seconds. Okay. <laughs> we made happy hour. There you go, Marissa. About like three minutes. I thought they were going to keep us on hold until they happy did. hour they was over. They did. They like seven minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I was starting to break yeah. a sweat. You win, Sonic. You win. <laughs> Definitely got the biggest songs they have. Two of them. <laughs> <laughs> D, D, D. 